has agreed to step in. His name is Daniel, and he's going to come in and give this uh, this session for us. Now, you know, as you know, Lane owns Vantage Point. His father owned the company. They've been around a very long time. Uh, they have AI technology over there that is a powerhouse in making market decisions for you. And unfortunately, like I said, Lane had a situation and uh, Daniel on his team has agreed to step in. And so he's going to keep us rolling with our final topic of today. Um, and I want to remind y'all that we kick back off at 9 a.m. Eastern in the morning with Scott Bauer of Prosper Trading, and he is a, is a beast. He's full of energy, trades the markets. It's going to take us right into tomorrow morning's live session and show us what he thinks about real time what's happening. But for now, we are going to wrap today up with what I believe is one of the best companies out there. I mean, these guys, I constantly feature them on Trade Thirsty because I believe in their team, their concept, their product. And um, let's see, there we go. Let me go ahead and give him the, Daniel, are you there? Thank you so much. I am here, Jeanette. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you very much. I appreciate, uh, appreciate the intro and you're exactly exactly right i'm standing in for lane I, he's a much better looking guy than i am but i promise you i'm going to bring everything i've got Look, to... big shoes to fill i have a heart <laughs> a lot of heart for that lane mendelson he and i we've uh we've been through a lot of uh of happy and sad in our family and our business and he's just one of those guys that i um that i give props up to when it comes to his credibility in this industry and so even though he's not here we are so glad that you were able to step in last literally last second and do this for us well, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. So thank you for the time. Again, thank you to, to Trade Thursday and Westmark. I know it's a combined effort. Uh, you really put a lot of work in, into making this event happen. And, and any time that we can get a group like this together for traders to put themselves in a better position, then we know we're doing something right. So thanks again for the time. That's right. All right, let's, get, your, uh, let's get... I can see your PowerPoint and I can hear you just fine. And so take it away. Great. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, everybody. As, as Jeanette said, my name is Daniel. I'm with Vantage Point uh, AI. I've been uh, an AI trading mentor and coach for, for nearly a decade now. Now, one thing before we get too far down the path, I always like to make sure we're on the same page, right? We know trading isn't easy. Every, if it was, everybody would be doing it and be successful, right? As a matter of fact, it's something like 90% of traders are losing money or breaking even. And it's not because they don't know about the markets. It's not because you're not smart it's because trading is hard, right? Even with our software, even the Vantage Point, which has proven accuracy and a company that's been in business for over 40 years, you're still going to have losing trades, even with an edge that this software provides. So again, just so we're on the same page, there's no crystal ball, no holy grail. This is designed to give you an advantage so that you can be in a position to make more money. You still need to have good money management. You still need to manage a risk and it's important to have realistic expectations. Last thing we want you to do is think that there's some software out there that's perfect because there's not, right? And although Vantage Point's been proven for decades, we're talking about decades, nearly 30 years to forecast with incredible accuracy up to 87.4%. I'm gonna show you that. I'll show you some simulated trades. We'll, we'll talk through some hypothetical examples so you can see exactly what the software has been able to do in the markets and what traders using the software have been able to do. Um, I'm also going to show you some of their results. Um, they've given us permission to do that. Um, just remember, those are their results. They may not be, uh, you know, average performances. They're atypical performances, but it's what they did. And by no means mean that's what you're going to do. Um, but if you're looking to get an edge, if you're looking to improve what you're doing today, we've been helping traders do that for decades. And I think you'll find that. Uh, again, if you look at the screen, this is me. My name is Daniel, and I'm like a lot of you on this call probably. You know, spouse, I'm a father, a husband. I uh, got some kids, a couple of kids that are currently doing school from home, like a lot of you. <laughs> I've got about 22 years experience in the in the financial markets, um, and I'm an old corporate guy. I, I, as in, I was in, in corporate America for decades before I did what I'm doing now, and I can tell you, um, what I'm doing now is much more fulfilling, helping traders like you become more successful using artificial intelligence. You may have seen me at uh, different presentations, money show, or different organizations like that because I, I try to help as many traders as possible. So I'm here today to show you exactly how artificial intelligence and how you can predict the markets in times of chaos when there's a lot of volatility, guys, and there's a lot of volatility in the markets today, volatility, uh, you know, somewhat low based on the optimism that people are feeling about the economy opening up. But you know, and I know that, you know, when volatility is crazy, it's hard to figure out what's going on. 
And uh, my promise to you is that uh, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you that information. I'm going to show you how to figure that out using technical analysis, using tools in, in vantage points. So let's, let's dig into that. And usually when I tell people the software has accuracy up to 87.4%, I usually get people telling me to prove it, right? Show me, show me the money, show me where it is. And, and that's an honest request. And I'm here to honor that request, okay? If you look at your screen right now, you'll see where Vantage Point indicated the major reversal in the Dow back on, on February 21st. This is an actual forecast from back then where you could have seen the reversal coming. Prior to that, we had major, major gains in, in gold, you know, turning 10,000 into 20,000, or like here in Tesla, um, you know, 122% uh, in two trades on Tesla recently. So the, the software works. It works very, very well. And we have a lot of traders that always come to us and say, man, I just got to tell you how this thing works. You're going it, to, it's been working very well for me. Like Chuck, look, he says, I use Vantage Point AI to trade futures, stocks, ETFs, options. Um, you know, he's doubled his annual returns. Again, that's, that's his results. Again, very good performance is probably atypical performance, but that's what Chuck said he did. This guy says uh, day trading, 10 to 15 ticks easily. TJ, 14 to 17% on money invested per week, right? Um, you know, that's, that's very good. If you're able to annualize that, that's remarkable results. Scott says on one trade here, 1,400%, uh, which he cashed out another 500%. He trades options. Um, again, there's, that's, if you can do that, here and there, you're putting yourself in a very, very good position, right? Andrew, here's another user of the software, says he made 115% in his first two weeks using Vantage Point. Um, I go back to say that, you know, the, this is what these guys are saying they did. Um, and um, you, if you could just do a piece of that, you put yourself in a very good position. So I'm going to spend my time showing you today how you can do that because I think it's important to give you and arm you with as much information to make the right trading decisions as possible. Now, although Lane couldn't be here, you may, you may know his name. Uh, if you look at the screen on the left, that's Lane Mendelson. Um, on the right, that's Lewis Mendelson. These are the, like I like to say, the brains behind the intelligence, behind the artificial intelligence. Lewis is our founder, right? He's the one that created this software. Actually, he was using artificial intelligence starting back in the late 80s after Black Monday, you guys probably remember when, what happened there, you've read about it, some of you may have lived through it. He was using artificial intelligence back then and was able to bring it to market for traders like you, home traders, retail traders, um, back in 1991. Um, he is a Carnegie Mellon alumnus, which means you know he's studied at one of the birthplaces of artificial intelligence. You know, if you know anybody that went to MIT, they'll say it was MIT. You know anybody that went to Carnegie, they'll say, you know, Carnegie was right up there. So. What we know is that artificial intelligence has been studied and um, been used for a long time. And in our world, it's been in the financial markets, thanks to Mr. Mendelssohn since 91. Now, his son, Lane Mendelssohn, is our, is our president. Um, he's been involved in Vantage Point, I'd, I'd like to say, his whole life. <laughs> and he'll probably tell you the same thing. Uh, you know, it's kind of like we're talking about credibility. We're talking about longevity because Mr. Mendelssohn, Lewis Mendelssohn, has really passed the torch to Lane. Um, it's kind of like if you think about Steve Jobs, you know, may rest in peace, but having that knowledge and all that information and expertise on Apple, passing that on to someone like his son, like Lane, would create even more longevity. And that's what we've been able to do here at Vantage Point. So I'm excited to, to bring that information to you guys and give you as much of the details as possible so that you can use this to, to be a more successful trader. And actually, I've got a little video here. I want to play for you guys really quickly about Lane. Hopefully you can hear it. Let me see a little quick, quick check. Lane Mendelssohn's company has developed a way to transform the lives of people. Mendelssohn, the president of Vantage Point Software. Lane Mendelssohn. Lane Mendelssohn. Lane Mendelssohn, president of Vantage Point AI. Joining me in the studio today is Lane Mendelssohn. And with me today, Lane Mendelssohn, the president of Vantage Point AI. Your artificial intelligence software was able to predict the January market drop. Your company uh, forecasted that the tech stocks erased all the gains for the year. 
What's the criteria you use at Vantage Point when you look at a stock? We're doing a very advanced form of pattern recognition using artificial intelligence. My company's been involved with artificial intelligence for 30 years. This is the future. You're talking about thousands and thousands of data points being analyzed every single day. A human could not do this if you're not analyzing all of those other factors, you're not seeing the full picture. To really gain an edge in today's global markets, you have to have a global approach. Vintage Point Software 的主席 Len， 那他和我们一起分享一下股票投资。It's all about having the odds in your favor. Our focus is the technology. In the last 10 years, we've spent over 10 million dollars in research and development, developing the technology. We actually been forecasting the retail stocks to go up for about a week now. A couple of days ago, we said tech stocks were going to start to go up, and look what today happened. I mean, the Dow had a, a tremendous day today. Our philosophy is, if we can't predict it with a very high degree of accuracy, why bother? There are so many other stocks that we can forecast with such a high degree of accuracy. And one of the things that I like about you personally, Lane, is that you really are a family guy. I think that it's most important that um, that you spend time with family, you teach values. Uh, my daughter knows all of our core values for our company, and the first one is integrity. We're going to continue to refine, develop, and make this product so that everybody in the world who wants to have financial freedom can easily benefit from it. All right, fantastic. Hopefully you guys could hear that okay, because it's just remarkable what the Mendelssohn's have been able to do in the financial markets for, uh, for traders around the world. Well, now that you, uh, you, know, you know who Vantage Point is and who the Mendelssohn's are, I'd like to get a little information from you. So if you could get your, your typing fingers ready, uh, find your chat box. I'm, I'm managing the, manning the chat box and I can see everything that you're typing in because we're going to dig into the software here in just a second, but I want to make sure I'm training you in a way that makes sense for you. So answer me a question or two, if you will. Um, first question is, what markets are you trading? <laughs> are you trading stocks, ETFs? Do you like to trade options on stocks and ETFs, Forex, futures, cryptocurrencies? Uh, where, when you invest your money, you trade your money, where are you putting the majority of your assets? Which one of those asset classes? So I've got stocks, stocks, options, ETFs, options, and stocks from Mike, Julius, uh, stocks, equities, stock options, stocks and futures from Mary, Amanda, stocks and ETFs, Gert, stocks, ETFs, good, okay, all right, good. Boris is already asking questions. He's digging into it. February 21st, Boris. Boris wants to know when the software indicated the corona crash. Now, it didn't tell you the corona crash was coming, but it told you the market was reversing and changing directions uh, February 21st. We, show, we saw that on an earlier slide. So, Ian, I think it's Ian. Options, Forex, and stocks. Good. Uh, Gary, I think I got you. Stocks and futures. E-mini futures for Trader Rick. I like the name Trader Rick. Uh, good. Fantastic. And you guys can keep using the chat box, letting me know that it helps me, you know, kind of focus my attention to what I need to show. I appreciate that. Um, now, let's, let's go down a different path from an experience level standpoint. One being you're brand new to the markets. Ten being you're great at trading. You make a half a million dollars a year and trading is easy. Where would you fall on that scale? Give me a one, a two, a three, four. Where would you rate yourself? So I got two, two, and they're coming in fast. So I'm going to go fast. Two, two new six, newer three, four, 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 three, two, uh, new, 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 four. Uh, go ahead, guys. Keep on using it so I know where I can spend my time. Gary says five. JR says four. Okay, so on a scale of one to ten, it looks like we're, we're going to be somewhere probably right in that three, four range, um, three or four range as far as experience, which is, which is great. You know, depending on your expertise level, vantage point, and Rick, Trader Rick says eight, that's great. Thank you. Regardless of your, your expertise level, vantage point can help you find better opportunities because it's forecasting the trends in the market. All right. So we'll dig into that here in a second. I just wanted to make sure. I knew what kind of uh, what kind of traders we had from an experience and from an asset class. Now, answer me one more thing, and then we're going to dig into these global connections that are so important to what we're trading. Uh, if there was one thing you could fix, right? Today is Cinco de Mayo. Maybe you had a magic taco wand. <laughs> Can you tell I have kids? It's Cinco de Mayo. If you could fix one thing, what would it be? Meaning entries on trades or exits or stop losses or... So Julie says losing trades. I assume getting out in time, Julie, where it doesn't turn into a loser, right? Okay, you said exits, exactly. 
increase income. Carolyn, Carolyn, I think everybody wants to increase income, but what, what is it that's stopping you from increasing your income? Trader Rick wants better trailing stops, Mike exits and stop losses, okay? Being able to trade CFDs, interesting. Um, so that's, a, that's like an option, right? That's what we're talking about, Ian. So timing, consistent results, uh, <laughs> lower commissions. Well, if you're making more money because you're catching more of the trend, Amanda, and you're still paying commissions for your trades there in Canada, then that's, uh, that's going to help wash those out, right? Getting out earlier or you're getting out too early because of fear. Uh, Mike, Gerald says entries, solid entries. Okay. Nobody said finding opportunities meaning bringing stocks to you that can help you position yourself to profit more often and mitigating those, those stocks that aren't so good, right? I'm surprised that that's the case. Cause I think if you can find better opportunities that can also put you in a better position, all right? Uh, better choices. Okay. Uh, solid entrances that don't always reverse. Okay, good. Okay. So we're on the same page. It sounds to me like um, entries are, are big from, from the conversation I'm seeing here, obviously with entries, Entry timing comes exit timing, right? That's always important. So I'll focus on that as well. And, and you'll see through this presentation and this training how the technology can help you with those things. And the question is how, right? How can artificial intelligence help me with these problems that are holding me back? Well, that brings us to my next point through global connections. Would anybody here disagree with me if I told you the markets are globally interconnected and what happens in one market or one stock affects another stock or another market? Does anybody disagree with that? I'm sure most of you agree, but if you disagree, use the, the chat box and let me know that, that that's the case because I'd love to talk about it if it is. If not, then we're all on the same page and it looks like I'm not, I haven't gotten any responses except for Okay, Trader Rick says no disagreement. Okay, thank you guys. I appreciate that. So we're all on the same page, right? Um, what I mean is we all know the markets are globally interconnected. Now you've got to ask yourself, what are you doing to use those global relationships to help you be a more profitable trader? And I don't need, mean just reading blogs or stories or trying to look at one market and read something and see what it means in that market, like oil, right? What happened with oil affected all of us but were any of you able to use it to see what was expected to happen before it happened, not after? We'll talk about that. But let me give you an example. Look at your screen. I'm gonna put two charts up on the screen and if I didn't have names on it saying AMD and NASDAQ, you probably would think it was the same stock because what this chart says is that when AMD went up, NASDAQ went up or vice versa. When the NASDAQ went up, AMD went up. Pretty easy to see, right? That's because these have a parallel relationship. That's what it's called, a parallel relationship. When one goes up, the other goes up. When one goes down, the other goes down. And it doesn't matter the volatility, whether there's a lot of volatility or not, you can see that markets have parallel relationships, correlations like the financial sector ETF, XLF, and Bank of America. And by the way, guys, you don't need special technology to do what I'm talking about right now, looking at one market, comparing it to another market. This is your, your golden nugget of the day, right? Where you can take this right now without doing anything with anybody and say, you know what, if I'm gonna go hop into some call options on Bank of America, I'm gonna go look at XLF and see if I'm getting the same feeling from XLF. That will increase your confidence. Some of you said I need more confidence. That right there will increase your confidence in spades because you can see that they have a parallel relationship. When one goes up, the other goes up. And when one goes down, the other goes down. There is no denying that. The question is, how strong is that relationship, right? And does it affect the, the Bank of America share price year round? Those are starting, those are the questions that you get to once you realize those relationships are there, they're real, and they're influencing what you're trading every single day. Just realize one thing, if you would, please. Just recognize that some of those relationships are not parallel. Some of them are inverse, like the S&P and gold. You've heard how gold is a safe haven, right? I've heard it, you've heard it, probably our entire trading careers. People turn to gold when the markets reverse. That's because they have an inverse relationship, usually, right? Sometimes that relationship goes together. Sometimes it's not inverse and it's parallel. Now you're starting to see where the benefit of artificial intelligence comes into play because you and I, even me, I can't, I know that all these relationships are there and it is humanly impossible 
for me to figure out which ones are parallel, which ones are inverse, when are they in effect, when are they not, and how powerful they are, and, and are they directionally biased, right? These are all the things that you've got to consider when you're talking about intermarket relationships and global impacts. Now, you can do this for a couple markets like we just did, and I love this picture. If you look at the screen right now, you'll see an iceberg where you can see the top of the ice above the waterline. That's like, that represents the markets that you, the influencing factors that you can see, like we just looked at, AMD and the NASDAQ, right? It's the ones that are below the waterline that you can't see that really trip you up or hurt you or can help you, right? Think about the Titanic. They could try to go around the ice they could see, but they didn't have the technology to see that the majority of the iceberg, the glacier was below the waterline. That's what can really trip you up when you're trading, and that's where artificial intelligence excels. You see, AI has the ability to process lots and lots of data. You've heard the term big data, right? Bank of America, sorry, the, 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 the data that the artificial intelligence needs to process Bank of America is the open, the high, the low, the close, the volume, the open interest, all of those things, right? All of those data points are available on every single stock and every single market every day down to the tick, down to the second. Well, it's impossible for me to look at all that data or you to look at that data and figure out heads or tails, but not artificial intelligence. You see, artificial intelligence can process millions and millions of data points, make sense of it, look for hidden, minute patterns and relationships, both linear and nonlinear relationships that you and I just can't see. Well, once it figures out those relationships, then you can use that information to figure out what's expected to happen, all right? Sit back and think of it. Sit back and think about that. And, and Al, I see your point. Al said something about Bank of America and XLF not being fair because Bank of America is an important component of XLF. Absolutely, and it works both ways. You're exactly right. Because it's a component of it, you should be looking at that before you take a position to get that extra confidence. That's the point. That's what I'm talking about here. And most of us, up until this moment, up till today, most of you aren't making those comparisons. Artificial intelligence can take it to a level that is humanly impossible. Let me show you. Let me show you what I mean. I am going to pull up the software. Guys, if you look at your screen, we're looking at a chart from Microsoft. This is Vantage Point and this is artificial intelligence. But first things first, let me get some of them. Let me turn some of the AI off. I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to shrink this. Because I want you to see the basis for the software is a candlestick chart. It's not complicated, but that's the basis, easy to interpret. And we have spent millions and millions of dollars to make this easy to understand and easy to read. The basis is end of day data. The data comes from a company called Traders Only. They provide all the end of day data that's needed to generate the forecasts. And it comes in once a day at 6.30 p.m. Eastern time. But that's not why we're here. I want to go over here and I want to show you what the artificial intelligence has figured out influence Microsoft. All right, here you go. Look at your screen, guys. If you look at this, this circle, this wheel, this web, whatever you want to call it, the artificial intelligence has analyzed all the markets around the world. And I just lost the screen for a second, so let me just bring it right back up. There we go. It's analyzed all the relationships around the world to figure out what is influencing Microsoft right in the middle of that web. You can see that very easy to see. You would expect the NASDAQ. That's there, of course. There's some markets in here that you would absolutely expect. The ProShares Ultra Technology, right? The Technology Bull, three times spider. But what about Harley Davidson? Why would Harley Davidson have an impact on Microsoft? or Sun Coke Energy. How is that driving it? Is it pulling Microsoft's share price up, sideways, or down, or maybe even Sherwin-Williams? See, this is where the artificial intelligence takes things to a level that is humanly impossible because I don't know why Sherwin-Williams impacts Microsoft, but I don't need to know why. What I need to know is that it does. And what I need to know is that the artificial intelligence can figure out what that relationship is, and it can. This is a patented technology. Folks. So what you're looking at, there's a U.S. patent that says we're doing intermarket analysis that's figuring out what these intermarkets and for every stock and every futures market and every Forex pair or ETF that you find in Vantage Point, there are 30 markets behind the scenes that are influencing that the software has figured out are influencing that share price. There are some things you would expect like light sweet crude oil, the 10-year T-note, right? Interest rates. 
major currencies like the dollar or gold, right? Those are markets you would expect, but you're not looking at today before you take a trade on Microsoft. And if you are looking at it, you're getting it from a cursory view, not the details. This is the key. Now remember, we all agree the markets are global. Now sit back and think about the tools that you're using. Are your tools turning a blind eye to the fact the markets are global? The answer to that is yes. You don't have to use a chat box because you would have, if you really think about it, your, your tools are not looking at what's happening in the Euro and natural gas and Harley and all these other markets to figure out where Microsoft is going to go. You got to take the blinders off. And that's why I enjoy what I do because I've been able to help so many traders do exactly that. Guys, if you're looking at this and you can already see how this can give you an edge. Now, I realize I haven't handed you the keys of the Ferrari yet but I popped the hood on the car. If you can see how this is something that can help you be more successful already, you can use a chat box, put in your phone number. As I said, I'm managing that. So we can have somebody on our team give you a call and help you understand how this applies to your trading. So you just use the, the chat box again, put in your phone number and we'll give you a call and walk you through the next steps. Now, if, if this kind of technology seems interesting to you, we also have a free ebook on the topic. If you put in your phone number into the chat box, we'll give everybody, just put ebook right next to your phone number and we can send you an ebook talking about the technology and how vol volatility in the markets can be used to predict market direction. Chet, I have your phone number, thank you very much. Uh, 706, got it, all right guys. And, and again, again, I'm not gonna be giving out your phone numbers to anybody, it's for my team to be able to give you a call and talk through next steps or, or give you answer the questions you might have. Carolyn, you've got ebook and your phone number, I've got it, thank you very much, I appreciate that. All right, let's keep the train moving because I know right now you're already looking at saying, yeah, I can see how that is a level of analysis that I am missing today. And if you're thinking that, let me show you how you're gonna use this to turn it into actionable, usable data, right? Toshiba, I've got your phone number in the UK, thank you. Because that's really the key. How do you turn this into something that's actionable that you can use before you take a position or while you're in position, right? So let's move on to that piece. But first, I need your help. I want your help to look at this chart right here and tell me, this is a chart of Cisco, and I want you to tell me, is Cisco expected at this point in this chart to keep going up, down, or sideways? Looking at this chart, all right? Up, down, or sideways? Just use a chat box and tell me what you think. Lance says up, up for trader Rick. Carolyn says down. Gert says continue, I mean, I, I assume you mean up, okay. By far, I've got your phone number, thank you. Guys, look at this chart and see what you think. Sideways, up, up, okay, it's topping, down, lower, down, up. Charlie got it, Jeff says down. What time frame? it's all end of day data, Al, it's all end of day data, that's what we're looking for. What are you gonna say the next couple of days? Let's say three days out. You think it's gonna go up or down? Because that's really the key, right? Sideways, sideways, up, up, need more info. Okay, well, I appreciate that. Thank you for answering my question. I appreciate it. it. Sounds like we got a mixed bag. Some people, most people said up. Some people said sideways. A few people said sideways or, or lower. We got a mixed bag, and that's usually what happens here. Ian said, "I need more information," and I assume Ian, what you're talking about is more information like these technical indicators that I like to call the usual suspects, right? The usual suspects. When I say the usual suspects, I mean these indicators like Fibonacci, support and resistance, moving averages. Anybody on this session using these indicators? Maybe some of them or all of them. MACD, RSI, stochastics. Anybody using these? And if you are, yeah, yes, yes, yeah. Okay, Amanda, by far, good. Yep. Use, and Ian, you use your own. That's good. Fibs. If you are, I bet you've been in this position before. <laughs> I know I, I have it in my past has been in this position. It's similar to the surrender, co surrender Cobra that we see in sports, right? This is like, this is analysis paralysis. We can call it that where you're looking at the indicators and you're trying to figure out what's expected to happen, but you're just not sure, right? That happens. Even, even look, here's a Cisco chart and I'm going to add those indicators you guys said you're using, right? MACD, I've added volume, RSI, stochastics, Bollinger Bands, I even have the Ichimoku cloud on there. Look at this now and tell me where you think Cisco is going to go. Do you think it's going to continue up? Do you think it's going to reverse over the next few days or sideways? What do you think now? And no answer is a wrong answer, guys. This is just about learning and understanding how to use this. Thank you. Lance says up. Okay, up, up, up. 
<laughs> up because I said so. I love it. <laughs> Boris says reverse down, down, up. Okay. MACD cross. So up, up. Okay. So again, mixed bag. So we're just not sure. Sideways. Thank you, Carmen. Daryl says sideways. Again, that's not abnormal, which is why I'm here, which is why I love doing what I do, right? That's not abnormal that you're not sure what's going to happen here. And here's why I say that. Standard technical indicators that don't use global market analysis and only look backwards are hazardous to your health. I would say they're dead. Why? Because the markets have changed so dramatically. To use a tool or an indicator that only looks at that one stock by itself in isolation or that one currency pair in isolation or the S&P by itself is putting you at a major, major disadvantage. And on top of that, the formula for those indicators only has past price data in it, right? Only has past price data in it. Here's what I mean. If you look at right now, if you look at your screen, I'm gonna teach you some predictive indicators available in the software. There's a blue line and a black line called a predicted moving average, right? The blue line is the predicted moving average and when it crosses that black line, that's a prediction that that trend is gonna go up if the cross is going up. If the blue line is crossing down, that's a prediction that the trend is expected to go down over the next three days. How does that compare? To a moving average. Well, look at the screen. Here's the formula. A moving average, you add up a period of time, let's say 10 days, right? You divide by 10, you plot that on a chart. That's how those are calculated. All past price data. The predicted moving average in vantage point, you add up a period of time, but what vantage point does is it adds three days of pre uh, is predicted unknown data to that formula. That's right. I said it. It adds predictive data to the formula and it's figured it out by doing that inner market analysis. So now what you have is a, a formula that includes predictive data. So when that blue line crosses above that black line, which is a simple moving average, that blue line is then predicting that trend change up to three days in advance because there's three days of predictive data in the formula. That is the first predictive indicator I wanna teach you, and it is sequential. That's the first one you've gotta look at. The next one is right here on the screen right now called a predicted neural index. It's either red or green. When it's red, it's indicating weakness. When it's green, it's indicating strength, all right? The next set of indicators you check are called predictive differences. And they look like these three lines right here. There's a pink one, a blue one, an aqua blue, and a navy blue. And when they're all parallel like that on the right-hand side of that little chart and they're pointing up, that's telling you momentum is building. When they're pointing down, that's the opposite, right? And then you've got a, a predicted gray candle. See, the software vantage point predicts the next day's high and low for every stock in every market for the next trading day. It updates at 6.30 p.m. Eastern time at night. When all of those indicators agree, either bullish or bearish or strength or weakness, you get total confirmation, meaning the artificial intelligence by analyzing those global markets agrees that that trend is expected to go in that direction. So let's go back to vantage point and now let's start this Ferrari up. Let's I'm gonna hand you the keys on interpreting this. I'm gonna put the artificial intelligence back in action, put on the neural index here, and open the predictive differences. All right, I have Microsoft pulled up because it's a great chart to look at to understand what I'm talking about. And what I mean is I'm gonna focus very easily, very quickly on the left-hand side of the chart and then we'll work right. If you look on the right left-hand side of the chart, you can see right here where the blue line goes from a below to above the black line right here on December 11th. That's where the software is saying, yep, this trend is expected to start going up over the next three days. Look at the next three days candles. One, two, three, boom, All right? The first thing I do when I see that blue line get above that black line is I look down at the neural index right here on 1211. Matter of fact, I'm gonna drop a line right here on that day to save that spot. The neural index is green and the predictive differences are also slightly pointing up. I've got total confirmation, which is just what we went over. Total confirmation. It's all end of day data, James. All end of day data. This is, this is about swing trading to be a more successful trader. As long as that blue line stays above that black line, even if it comes down and touches it but never crosses, I could hold that position to say, let me drop another line here. Here's the crossover. We see it very clearly. There's a crossover. The neural index agrees, and the predictive differences are now pointing down. If you're able to analyze this as of right now, you are, congratulations, you are analyzing artificial intelligence. We've tried to make it as simple and as productive as possible so that you can be a more successful trader. So let's go crossover to crossover, just giving you some, 
some general area here. 500 shares of Microsoft or five contracts could have generated 15,000 in profit. Again, in this simulated environment, we're talking about 20% in 47 trading days on the underlying asset for you equity traders, 20%. That's uh, about a half a percent a day. But more importantly, check this out. Right here, the software indicated that reversal coming before this major reversal happened. And it's that easy to interpret the forecasts, right? And you go crossover to crossover. For those of you who like to short the market here, here's a great shorting opportunity that you can see that generated uh, 20%. So we got 20% up, 20% down. And now here is the most recent trend that's going, not including today, because remember, this is 6.30 at night, it updates. There's another 20%, wow, 60% profits. Think about that. If you're trading with 10,000 bucks, uptrend, you made 2,000. Downtrend, you made 2,000. Uptrend, you made another 2,000. That's $6,000 in profits, right? Very easily in three trends had you been using this information to make these trades. And then we've got our predicted gray candle saying Microsoft was expected to be up today, right? That's what the gray candle is saying. If you look all the way on the right-hand side of the chart, you see a higher high and a higher low. Does everybody see that? Is anybody missing that higher high or higher low? Because you should be able to see it on the chart right there on the right to say, was Microsoft expected to go up or down today? And this is saying up. And if you look at this, uh, anybody can check if Microsoft was up and tell me in the comments box. I haven't checked it here lately, but if you can, by all means, please do. Now, the forecasts that I'm talking about when used this way are up to 87.4% accurate. It's all end of day data. So that's saying the software is going to be correct 87 out of 100 days. Put yourself, think about your trading. And if you could be correct on the trend direction on an individual stock 87 out of 100 days, could you use that to be more successful? I, I think you could, no doubt about it, right? I'm going to bring up a couple more stocks here. Uh, BMY, here we go, Bristol Mine. If there's one you want to look at, by all means, please use a chat box. I'll see if I can grab it and pull it up. All right, Bristol Myers Squibb, great trend, great prediction. And you can see it's wash, rinse, repeat, right? When the blue line crosses below and the neural index turns red right here in February, again at the end of February, right before the major reversal, and you go crossover to crossover, guys. You don't have to think too much about it as long as all of those predictive indicators agree, you know what the software is saying about that trend. Now, whether you buy a put, whether you sell a call, whether you use some sort of other strategy to execute your trades, you can see how knowing the trend direction in advance can put you in a very, very good position to profit, all right? Blue line crosses above right here. The neural index is green, we can see that. Right there is a crossover, all those lines are pointing up. Again, crossover to crossover, guys. I don't have to get too complicated. I think, I think you're seeing it. I could probably pull up any market right now and you could figure it out. But again, you're talking about 23% to the downside in 28 trading days and 18% to the upside. Guys, if you're seeing the, the benefit already, if you're seeing it already, you can put your phone number in. Marilyn, I have your phone number, by the way, into the chat box, and we can walk you through whatever we need to walk you through. Um, so let me see. I just, I'm pulling on Microsoft right now, and today Microsoft was up $1.92, $1.07. What did it close at? $1.80 is what I'm looking at. So where is that? We go back to Microsoft. There we go. Uh, 180, right at the top of that range. All right. So very good forecast from the software. Perfect. Uh, somebody said, let's show, we'll show the ES. All right. So S and P. And you can see all I'm doing on the left hand side is I'm running a search and I can click right here on the chart and the chart opens. Here's a forecast on the S&P 500. Uh, somebody else is asking for the Qs. All right. We'll check that in a second. Here's the S&P 500. Somebody was asking earlier about when was that forecast on the S&P. There it is on February 21st. You can see the blue line cross below right there on the 21st, clear as day. You can actually see the numbers for the crossovers right here. 3348 to 3352, the blue line is definitely below. All right. The red area, the, the neural index right here on 221 is definitely red. And the predictive differences are absolutely pointing down. You guys should be able to see that very easily. This is the big reversal that hurt so many people not using these indicators. And you can see where the crossover happened recently. Now, a lot of people were saying, oh, where's the bottom? Oh, there's five contracts. Let me just kick this back to one contract, which is less than what, $10,000 in margin. It's a $41,000 profit 
um, simulated profit using this forecast on the E-mini S&P. Now, I'm not saying vantage point called the bottom or predicted a bottom, but you can see very easily, very easily right here, the blue line crossed above, everything agreed. And there's some short term gains to be had, not including today, I believe the ES was up today, not including today, one contract could have netted $18,000 in profits using this information day in, day out, right? Um, that's, that's what we're talking about, using this information to be a more successful trader. Uh, somebody's asking a question about Microsoft. Uh, I'm not sure what you're saying about Microsoft. My question was, was Microsoft up or down today? And did Vantage Point uh, say, so let's look at, here, let's zoom in, guys. Right here on the right. Blue line is above saying this trend is expected to go up. You can see that. I don't have to look at anything else at this point because you could have been along this position the entire time. And as long as that blue line hasn't crossed below, you could continue holding that position. The neural index is green and you can see that two of those three lines there at the bottom are, are forecasting strength or momentum. So we were all good there on that. Now somebody said the Q's, Q, 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 here we go. Hopefully what you're looking for in the Q's is whether or not the software forecasted the reversal to the downside and the trend up. And you can see that's exactly the case. Guys, right here, the software said on March 25th, the blue line crossed above and the neural index was green and the three lines were also pointing up. This trend is a, is a substantial trend. Just the next day after that was an incredible gain. Look at that. In one day after that forecast, this, the, the Q's moved almost 4%. But going to the close of yesterday, that's up 16% in 27 trading days, All right? This is, this is the key, guys, is, is using these indicators to put you in positions ahead of time to give you a better opportunity to be successful. Last one, big, big lots, uh, blue line crossed above, big, huge candle on that day. I'm not sure if you guys caught that or not, but big, huge candle on that day. That's where the software said this trend is expected to start going up. The overall trend on this, because the blue line never crossed below and still hasn't, is up about 75% in 28 trading days. Uh, last one, Bull. Last one. Bull says, uh, oh, the, we already looked at the S&P. The SPY looks just like it. All right. Now, I've got some questions, too, about how to interpret these. Guys, whether you're looking at cryptocurrencies or Forex, or it doesn't matter what it is, you interpret it the same. If the blue line is crossing up, you want the neural index to be green. If you want, if the neural index is green, then you can look down at those three lines at the bottom to make sure momentum is moving in or moving out. I think you guys, I think you guys get that. The question is, can you see how this can help you be more successful, right? That's really the question because these are predictive indicators that are patented. Not only do we have a patent on the intermarket analysis, but we have a patent on turning these indicators from lagging indicators into leading indicators. There's two patents on this technology. It's all end of day data. And the software that I'm talking about has been available since 1991, right? And it's been, it's been tested and proven. And I'll show you some of that. But first, let me show you what some more of the users say. Because like Billy, and this is again his, his words, not mine. Um, and you may not have his same results, but he says you will be successful and make money. He says, my advice to traders would be to buy Vantage Point. You'll make money. That's what Billy says. Alfred, in five days, his profit was 6,452 bucks. I don't have any way to verify that, but that's what Alfred is saying. Will you do that? I don't know. Those are his results. They may be atypical, but what he's saying, he's funding a trust for his education of his grandchildren and their children, right? It's very powerful stuff. So since, since Trade Thirsty came together with Westmark, we put together a package for everybody to get started using this technology, right? And what, I, what we've got in the package is one year subscription for Vantage Point software with those predictive indicators that we just went over, all right? One year prediction, one year of all those technical indicators as well. For the first three weeks of that year, you're going to get ask, access to every stock. You're going to get access to every Forex pair and every futures market in the software. All right. You're going to get access to all of that information for three weeks. At the end of three weeks, you get to decide which sector you want to stick with. Right. It's all end of data, uh, end of day data, Rick. You'll decide at the end of three weeks which sector you want. And then at that point, you'll have that for an entire year. For you stock traders and you options traders, the tech sector, that's my favorite one. And there's over 200 forecasts available just in that sector alone, right? That's a great sector to have, especially with the way the NASDAQ has been. You're also going to get a quick start guide and everything you need to get up and running very, very quickly. You're also going to get access to what we call Vantage Point University, 
which has on-demand videos and information that you can use 24 hours a day if you want to continue training and retraining yourself on the ins and outs of the software, all right? And on top of that, we are going to give you, because we don't want you just training yourself, <laughs> we're going to give you professional software coach dedicated to your one-on-one -on -one support for six months included with the software guys we want to do that so that you can get up and running as quickly as possible and use this to make as much money as possible we'd love if you could do stuff like sam and i'm not saying you can but look what he did six months he tripled his account right now he came to us very skeptical because he had spent fifteen thousand dollars on some other program that didn't work so he was a little hesitant to to spend four thousand with vantage point and get using the technology but he he did and you can see it paid, it paid back incredible reward for him. Now let's see if I'm a good teacher. <laughs> Look at the chart. Look at the chart on the screen. The questions you have to ask yourself, is the blue line crossing below the black line? Is the neural index turned red? And are those three lines pointing down? If you're seeing all of that, use the comments box and tell me where you think Cisco is gonna go now. Is it gonna go up or down based on the information that you see on the screen to make sure that I, you know, I taught you guys the right way. All right, I got down, 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 because I, <laughs> I love it, Lance. I love your sense of humor. Jet says down, 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 uh, down, down, down. I have not gotten one up yet, guys. Thank you. That helps me understand that uh, um, what I did, you know, my job today made sense. Here you go. Here is the continuation of that Cisco example so you can see what happened from that point on, and thanks to the artificial intelligence, now you guys were right. Everybody sit down. And that's what happened with Cisco. And you could have avoided either a 10% drawdown, or maybe you bought some puts on that, or sold some calls, or maybe you love Cisco and you wanted to do a covered call strategy. That part is up to you, but now you know how the software can help you in those situations be more successful, all right? All right, so here's the package we put together for everybody that's on this call. You're gonna get access to one sector, normally 2,900. You're gonna get access to the Vantage Point University valued at 995, as well as a quick start guide and resources valued at 495. And in addition to that, you're gonna get that coach for six months included in the software for valued at 1295. Now you've gotten training before in the markets, and I know for six months of training, it's a lot more than 1295. We've got that really, really low as far as value goes. You probably paid five or six thousand, like most people out there, for that kind of training. You're going to get all that package coming together normally at five thousand six eighty-five, guys. And just for everybody that's in this call and on this meeting today, you're going to get it for fourteen ninety-seven, saving you money right away. My math is wrong. It's not six thousand; it's four thousand. You save right away by using this package. So for fourteen ninety-seven, you get access to everything that I just went over for one sector or one market or one forex pair for the next year. You can use the chat box to put in your phone number and somebody on my team will reach out to you after this is over, answer any questions you have and walk you through the next steps. In addition, there's a link that we'll be putting into the chat box that you can click on that if you wanted to uh, use your, you know, your credit card and just use that link, you have access to do that as well. All right, HP, I've got your phone number, thank you. Now I told you about the data coming from Traders Only. Traders Only provides the data for everybody to use Vantage Point is 35 bucks a month for the data less than a buck a day and you get access to the, all the information that the AI needs to generate those forecasts that you guys just interpreted, all right? Now the other thing, I told you there was some tests done on the software by Traders World Magazine, Traders Magazine, Stocks and Commodities Magazine, even the Market Technicians Association put it through the ringer. Boris, I have your phone number, my friend. They put it through the ringer and if you don't know the Market Technicians Association, in order to be a uh, certified market technician, you've got to go through their testing, right? They write the rules on technical analysis. And they tested the software, they ran it through, and they said, look, the software applied nonlinear pattern recognition and forecasting, forecasting capabilities of neural networks to intermarket analysis, marking yet another significant step in the evolution of PC-based technical analysis, all right? Trading Edge, this was Terry Wooten from Your Trading Edge, did a four year study on the software, verifying the accuracy, came out as a highly recommend. He says, if you're serious about your trading, you should strongly consider joining the thousands of other Vantage Point users. An intelligent trader or investor should have no problem recouping the cost of the software quickly. 
Guys, use the comments box, put in your phone number, or click on that link and get signed up with the software quickly so that you can get access to this as soon as possible. Gary, I've got your phone number. Thank you, sir. Um, somebody on my team will reach out to everybody to put in their phone number for the software. They'll walk you through, answer any questions you have, put a package together. And if you don't want the subscription package, that's okay. You can get a lifetime package too. We've got a lot of people that say, you know what, just hook me up with a lifetime package because you know, I, I can see the value here and I know that the markets are global. Let the person that calls you know that as well, right? And somebody's asking about being alerted to trends. Um, there's a, a service in the software, a tool called IntelliScan. IntelliScan uh, has the ability to find those crossovers and present them to you. Those are, that's available for anybody that wants to buy it. It's 1900 bucks traditionally for the IntelliScan and it goes out and it finds those crossovers in whatever sector or however many sectors you have. Scott, I've got your phone number, sir. All right. One other thing I want to do for everybody. We have the ability to do concierge treatment, which is like white glove install. We have that ability where we can remote into your computer if you want us to do, you know, system enhancements and get you up and running. Valued at $295, but everybody on this call that writes fast action next to their phone number will get that for free. So if you want that extra bonus to have some help with install, just write fast action in your phone number. And when we give you a call, we know that that's a service that you want. And that's, it's, it's a worthwhile service, guys, because that gets you up and running very, very quickly. And everybody here gets it for free. The data is only $35 a month, Chet, $35 per month. And that goes right to traders only. Thank you for that question. I appreciate it. Toshiba, I've got fast action. I'm not sure if we have your phone number, but if we do, by all means, uh, we'll give you a call. If not, you can, you can plug it in. Um, just to recap the package before we go to Q&A, guys, everybody on this call is going to get this package for $14.97 for the next year. If you want to keep it on a yearly subscription, it's $14.97 every year after that, right? You get the access to this information, saving you thousands year over year. What I would suggest would happen, and I think what usually happens, in my opinion, is people get started with the year, they realize it works. After all, we've got uh, over 30,000 30, customers around the world using the technology. They realize it works and they come back and they just diversify into other sectors. They buy a lifetime package and they keep it or use it. Because if you sit back and you think about it, you put 1,500 bucks into a trade probably almost every day. 1,500 bucks into a trade hoping to make 10%, let's say. You want to make $150 with a $1,500 investment in the markets. What you can do here is less than a $1,500 investment and you're going to get the forecasts with artificial intelligence, the same technology that's used for self-driving cars, SpaceX landing rockets, and all these different technologies where companies are seeking billions and billions of dollars into AI, you get it for $14.97 for your trading. It puts you in a very, very good position. If you do wanna go lifetime HP, we'll, we'll do, uh, let's do 30% off. For anybody that wants lifetime, you can put your phone number in and put lifetime and we will honor a 30% off discount uh, for you as well if that's what you want to do. All right. So guys, I got about uh, five minutes left. So I, I want to open the floor up for any additional questions I haven't answered along the way. I think I've been catching them all. Uh, Julie's asking about other sectors. Yes, absolutely. There are 15 U.S. stock sectors available in the software. Here, I'll go over and I'll show you. Let me just pull vantage point back up and we'll, we'll dig through the sectors. If you look on the left-hand side of the screen, guys, you'll see every market that the software forecasts for. There's 71 different futures and commodities markets, 35 different Forex pairs broken up between majors and cross pairs for you Forex traders out there. There's nine different ETF sectors, okay? There's 15 different stock sectors. Look at this list, 5G, basic material, biotech, cannabis, all the way down. There's technology. If I open up the tech sector, you'll see that there are hundreds and hundreds of forecasts in that sector alone. I'm just scrolling through them so you can see they're alphabetically ranked here. Um, in addition to that, there's Canadian stocks, there's cryptocurrencies, regular cryptocurrencies, as well as cross pairs available in the software. Um, you can decide which one of those markets you want. If you want a, a US stock sector, again, I, I always suggest the technology sector because that's my favorite but you don't have to pick that one today. You can pick at the end of three weeks. Uh, the, the 1497 is for one sector, Julie. That's what you can get up and running with. Charlie, I've got your phone number. Thank you, sir. Um, let me see, Julie, you're asking about each sector. If you wanted more than one sector 
and you want you just you know, just want technology you wanted services we can build you a custom package and apply that 30 percent discount just put in your phone number julie and we'll walk you through we'll ask you questions about how many sectors you're trading or how many sectors you want and we'll build you a custom package if some of you that are trading stocks and etfs want a hybrid package yes by all means you can put in your phone number and we can build you a hybrid package that has a stock sector, an ETF sector, and we'll create pricing and apply that discount for you. Uh, C. Carlos Espanol, just go ahead and put in your phone number and we will have a Spanish speaker give you a call and answer your questions as well. Boris, I have your phone number, thank you very much. Julie, the question you're asking about, how, well, what does it cost for how many sectors? That is dependent on the sector. You can get them all, you can get a few of them, we'll customize a package for you. Just go ahead and put in your phone number so we can answer those specific questions with you one-on-one. -on -one. All right, thank you. Any other questions? I let me scroll through here and see if there's some some questions that I might have missed. While I do that, let me just put the package back up on the screen so everybody knows what we're talking about here today. And the link is in the chat box, and the link will be available after this, so you can pay that fourteen ninety seven in the comfort of your own home. Of course, um, that is available. It is uh, vantagepointsoftware.com/now. In case you didn't see that link again vantagepointsoftware.com slash now, or you can just call us directly at 1-800-732-5407. We're glad to help you any way you'd like, uh, through email, phone number, whatever the case is. If we can give one trader the opportunity to improve their entries or exits and be more successful, then, you know, that's, that's what we're trying to do. You know, when I sit down with my kids and they ask me what I do, I tell them I help traders be more successful and they can't wait to be part of that as they get older. So hopefully you're passing that kind of stuff on to your kids as well, guys. Any other questions before I turn it back over to Jeanette and Norella and see if there's anything else I can answer? Um, does a post earnings predictive move? So uh, Francois, when you think about earnings and you think about what earnings are, um, you know, earnings will affect price action. Remember what the software is doing at the end of every day is getting that price action, using all of that price action, incorporating it to find those hidden patterns and relationships. So after earnings happens, earnings, of course, are, you know, you never know what to expect with earnings and we're not predicting earnings. But once that earning play has happened, the AI will take in that price action and update the forecast for the next one to three days. Good question. Any other questions I can answer? Uh, Franco, I, I may have missed your number. If you want to go ahead and pump, punch in it again, I'll make sure that we get it. Um, I, don't, I don't know if I saw it in the comments. All right, guys. Well, thank you for your time today. I appreciate all your questions and your interaction. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure uh, doing what I can to help you. Trade Thirsty, uh, Westmark, it's always a pleasure working with you guys. Thanks for the time. So I have posted up, let's go back. There's his, um, his uh, link for today is vantagepointsoftware.com slash now. So that should be pretty simple. And to keep it really simple, I have been seeing all day in the chat box questions about what other offers were out there today. And so I threw together a slide. Roger, it looks like Roger's is a little bigger than everybody else's. <laughs> That's what happens when you don't have time to edit. Um, these are all He's the titan. <laughs> titan. He's the big titan. Um, and guys, if y'all go ahead and post in the chat box, uh, rank one to 10, how you feel about Daniel and the Vantage Point presentation that we just saw. It's yeah, well, day. yeah, we've got a great, well, first of all, what an what a awesome day we had today. I mean, all the speakers came in and did a phenomenal job. It's everything that we had expected and more. The feedback that we've been getting, Jeanette, through the chat box and Q&A, and even some of the emails we've been getting in support have just been fantastic. So we're obviously on to something here, and people are responding positively. And uh, we knew that we were going to put together a little marathon here. So we're, you know, this is one-third of the, of, the, of the journey we're going on. Tomorrow, day two, we also have a killer lineup. We start again at 10 o'clock in the morning, uh, Eastern Standard Time. Uh, Scott Bauer is going to be first up, followed by nine. Silas. We're starting at nine. Excuse me, what did I say, 10? Are we starting at nine? Are we starting at 10? What time do I have to get up? Are you, well, it's nine o'clock Eastern Standard Time. I'm here in Austin. That's eight o'clock. We're Central Time. We so are, you and me, Central Time. Central Time, so it's eight o'clock for us. That's and. Right. Uh, but we'll be, we'll be starting promptly at 9 o'clock uh, Eastern time. Scott Bauer is first up. He's going to be followed by Silas Peters. 
Then we have Barry Burns, we have Eric Wilkinson, we have Eric Marcus, Stephen Primo, Michael Lamar, John Seville. I mean, we're going to be talking about futures, stocks, options, binaries. It's going to be a great day. Absolutely. It's going to be an awesome way of looking at the markets. And that's what we're really doing. That each one of these experts has a strategy, a technique, a market, an approach, you know, a technology that they use to be the successful traders they are. And that's what we're going to be sharing with our audience. So I think it's exciting.